Hi, YouTube family. Welcome to my channel. I'm Merle. I love talking about fragrance and self-care products. Now, this is one of my favorite videos to record. Yes, you guessed it. It is another empties video. So I have this big bag here full of hygiene empties that I want to go through and share with you and show you what I've used up. So right here on the top, I have a feminine wash that I picked up from the 99 cent store. This was in the scent Cucumber Melon. Smells very nice and fresh. I enjoy using this in the shower, you know, to clean my lady parts. So that is all used up. Next item here is a moisturizing body wash from Bath & Body Works. This is from their aromatherapy line. This is the Sleep Black Chamomile. Um, I liked using this moisturizing body wash. It has a unique scent to it. I've used up other products in this particular uh, fragrance. And like I always say, you know, this one has a strong, unique type of scent. You have to really be feeling that vibe to enjoy this particular uh, product from their aromatherapy line. But their moisturizing body washes are amazing. I enjoy using them and I would definitely repurchase. Here is another moisturizing body wash that I used up. This was actually in my project Use It Up. This is the Sweater Weather Moisturizing Body Wash. Enjoyed this. This is a nice, fresh, outdoorsy apple scent, and I would definitely repurchase. Here is a uh, shampoo from Bath & Body Works. This is also from the Aromatherapy line. This is their uh, Famous Stress Relief, which is, which is the Eucalyptus Spearmint. Absolutely enjoy using this shampoo. It is very like cleansing. I believe it's clarifying if I'm not mistaken. This is probably considered a clarifying shampoo, but it, it really cleanses your hair. I just love the way that it, you know, had my hair smelling afterwards because it's a bit of like a, a, a spearmint type scent that it would leave kind of like an earthy spearmint scent. And I would definitely repurchase. Their shampoos are amazing. Here is a pack of antibacterial hand wipes that I got from Aldi. There were 50 wipes in here. And I believe this was only like two bucks. So this was a really good value uh, for what you got. I kept these in my car and just kind of like wiped my car down, wiped my steer steering wheel down, wiped my hands down. So these came in really handy. I would repurchase. Here are some nice and clean wipes that I use in the restroom. These are like baby wipes um, that I use uh, in a restroom. I go through tons of these. So here's one of those that I used up. Here is a fine fragrance mist. This is Magnolia Charm. Love that packaging. And yes, Magnolia Charm is one of my favorite fresh scents. This is like a fresh floral. Absolutely will repurchase. I have plenty of backups of this. Here is another item from my project Use It Up. This is a tree hut scrub in the scent Banana Muffin. Oh, this smells this so decadent. This just, this smells amazing. Even now, oh my goodness, like you get all of the guilt-free pleasures of this Decadent banana muffin scent, no calories. You can put this all over your body and don't have to worry about gaining any type of weight. This is just amazing. I would definitely repurchase if they come back out with it. Here is a hand soap I used up. Uh, this is Tis the Season. This is just like their classic, what is it? Apples and um, cinnamon, yeah. This is a um, Merry Bright blend of red apple, ground cinnamon, and clove. So yeah, Tis the Season, Tis the season is a classic at Bath & Body Works. I love using this around the fall, uh, winter, holiday time. Here is another fine fragrance mist I used up. This is Sweater Weather. I believe this was in my project. Use it up also. And of course, I finished it out. This just smells amazing. Like I said, it's an outdoorsy apple scent. I love it. Here is, oh, oh, I was so sad to see this go, but I do have uh, maybe one or two in my stash. But this is that steeped relaxation line that came out in the aromatherapy. This is the Luxe Bubble Bath. 
I went through this. This one is the Lavender Mint and Tea. This smells wonderful. I absolutely enjoyed this. I sincerely, sincerely, sincerely hope and pray that Bath & Body Works revisits this line and bring, bring this steeped relaxation collection back and add more scents to it. But this Lavender Mint and Tea is amazing. I absolutely love it. Here is a micellar cleansing water that I use to clean my face. This one has a rose hip extract inside of it. Um, it smelled nice. I like using this at night to just kind of clean any type of makeup or any you know residue or dirt and all that kind of stuff off of my face. So these are wonderful. I would definitely repurchase. It took me a while to go through this entire large bottle, but as you see, I emptied it out. I used it all up. So I'm on the lookout to find another bottle like this because I believe I purchased this from Burlington and it was only like maybe $3.99 or something like that. Now here is another, um, this more, I didn't use this one on my face. I more mostly use this one in my hair, but this is white rose water and I love using rose water in my hair. Here is a feminine deodorant spray that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And here is a miniature body cream from Bath & Body Works in a scent fairy tale. Absolutely enjoyed using this up. This one has that nice um, orange blossoms and like some pomegranate. This one smells very pretty and it's just a nice scent. I love fairy tale. Here is a pocket bag and a scent frosted cranberry. Good for the Christmas time. Here is a, one of those Olay uh, age defying um, bath, I mean soap bars. And I buy these in like a six pack and I go through them. I like using them. They're pretty much unscented. There's really no scent but they have those age-defying, um, I guess, properties within the bar soap. So I like using these. And they're uh, pretty moisturizing too. They don't really dry you out. Here are some uh, melatonin sleep gummies that I like getting from um, Target. This is by the brand Ollie or Oli, however you pronounce it. But these are the extra strength uh, melatonin sleep gummies and these work well. Here's another item from my Project Use It Up. This is the Amber Blush Fine Fragrance Mist. I finished up the last little bit of it that I had. Here is a facial cleansing balm. I love this because I love the way that it smells. And I picked this up from Dollar Tree. This smells so good. It has honey and chamomile extract. It just smells amazing. And it's like a, it's a jelly-like consistency. And I, I like using my facial brush to kind of um, just kind of cleanse my face with it. But the smell of this is just amazing. Here is another hand soap. This is Coconut Pumpkin Latte. This one has a very pleasant scent to it. I enjoyed using this up. I would definitely repurchase. Here is an aromatherapy product. This is the Peaceful, which is the tea tree and peppermint. This is the body lotion. I love this packaging. I'm going to probably um, repurpose this jar. I probably won't throw this away because I just like the way that it looks. Um, but I love peppermint scents. I love the tea tree and peppermint um, from the aromatherapy at Bath & Body Works. So next, I used up a hair product. This is by Curl's Daughter. This is their Cocoa Cream hair moisture or coral quenching deep moisture mask. I absolutely love this stuff and it smells amazing. It smells like, like you can smell the coconut oil, but it, it's almost like a hint of chocolate, I wanna say. And I don't know why I'm getting a hint of chocolate from this, but it smells very good. It works wonders on your hair. I used it as like a deep conditioner. So I will leave it on my hair for a few hours and then rinse it out. And it had my hair very healthy looking, very shiny, very much moisturized, very much conditioned. And I would definitely 
repurchase this. I believe I got this from Marshalls and it was $7.99. And this is, once again, the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream uh, Deep Moisture uh, Hair Mask. Next, I used up some ashwagandha gummies. I love getting these from Target. These help just to keep you calm, you know, help you during those stressful times. As you know, we're, we all face stressful times here with everything that's going on in the world and in our own personal lives and just trying to be the best superwoman or superman you could possibly be. So we need a little help every now and then. So I recommend ashwagandha gummies. They work for me. Okay, so next here I used up a scrub from Body Prescriptions. I got this from probably Marshall's. Uh, this one was in a little set. Uh, this one is uh, called Fall Back. That's the little name that they put on it. But it's basically the Honey Almond uh, Body Scrub. And it smelled amazing. I love how it... Um, foamed and, and, and like the, the granules or the, the, the uh, grit of the scrub felt very much so, I would say, medium to soft, um, but it, it, it foamed. It did kind of buff my skin and, and remove a lot of dead skin and things like that. So I would repurchase the body prescriptions. This is a smaller size because like I said, I bought this in a little set. So it came with a little body butter as well in this same how many ounces is this? Yeah, this is only 6.8 ounces. So I have a body butter in this as well. Uh, the body butter is not as fragrant, but it's, it's not an empty, so I don't need to go into that. But the body prescriptions, scrubs are good. I would definitely repurchase. Here is another fine fragrance mist. This is Bonfire Bash. Absolutely love this scent. This smells so good. It's like it's comforting. It's 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 smoky, but it's warm because it has like some marshmallow in there, and it's just this smells really good, especially in a cool in the cooler months when it's cold at night. I even wore this during the daytime, and Bonfire Bash is like a classic for me now. So I would always uh, purchase this when they bring it out at Bath & Body Works. Here is a aromatherapy uh, foam bath and body wash that I finished uh, in the eucalyptus and sandalwood. Sandalwood, eucalyptus, and mandarin. This one smells good. It's very relaxing. As you can see, it's called Relax here on the bottle. And I would definitely repurchase. Here is a mini fine fragrance mist. This is Vanilla Bean Noel. I'm not a fan of Vanilla Bean Noel and the body care. I'm just not. It, it, it doesn't smell like cookies. Like the cookie smell is not amped up enough for me. It's too much musk. So, uh, but I finished off this mini and I will not repurchase any vanilla bean oil, not in the body care. Love the hand soap and the candle and, you know, maybe the room spray, but as far as the fine fragrance mist and the lotions, I'm going to uh, skip out on it. Here is a full-size body cream. I believe this was in my project. Use it up as well. This is Vanilla Mocha Cafe. And of course, I cut it open to get everything. I love this. This is just your quintessential mocha vanilla latte scented uh, body care. You get that hint of coffee, but you get the sweetness from the vanilla. It just smells so good. So I already repurchased some of this. I have plenty of this in my backup. This has like a cappuccino, cozy uh, cashmere, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. Yeah, so... I believe that's Cozy Cappuccino as the first scent note. But there it is where you can see it. Here is a little um, face, facial uh, mist spray that I just like to keep you know, like in my purse or in my car just to kind of freshen up, especially, you know, this, I usually use this when it's like pretty hot out, but sometimes I just put it on my face at night when I get out the shower as well. But this is just like a little rose water facial spray that I used up. 
Here's another item from my Project Use It Up. This is the Winter Candy Apple Body Butter. I used it all up. It's completely empty. Absolutely enjoy Winter Candy Apple. That is one of my all-time favorite scents. And I have a backup of this body butter. Here is a hand cream that I picked up from... I believe I got this from the Dollar Tree. And this is in the scent Vanilla Sugar. It's a little... It's, it's slightly larger than the ones you get from Bath & Body Works. But the... Um, the quality of the hand cream is not as good as the ones from Bath & Body Works. Bath & Body Works has some high quality hand creams. Um, but this one was not bad. It kind of reminded me of like a coconut cookie. The way that it smelled is uh, called vanilla sugar. I used it all up. Um, I probably won't repurchase it because I have, you know, Bath & Body Works hand creams that I prefer the formula uh, of better. And then here is another item from my project, Use It Up. This is the Sweater Weather Miniature Size Body Cream. Used it all up. Like I said, it smells, still smells amazing. Um, smelling the inside of this. It's just that apple-y, outdoorsy, fresh, crisp scent. Yeah, I love it. It has some sandalwood in it too. So it has like a little creaminess in there. So I really do enjoy uh, this version of Sweater Weather. And then here is a large uh, mouthwash that I used up. This is a Scope Outlast. I go through tons of mouthwash, so I will always repurchase. Here are some more of those feminine deodorant sprays. I go through tons of these. Sometimes I toss them, but I just kind of kept these. So I went through a few more of those. And here is some bath soak. Love this bath soak. This bath soak is amazing. I cannot find it anymore at Dollar Tree. This is the moisturizing avocado oil bath soak. So I finished up uh, this bag here. I would definitely purchase tons of this if I run across it again at Dollar Tree. And then here is another large Epsom salt um, that I went through by Dr. Till. This one is the black elderberry. Um, this one had very much so that elderberry scent. Um, I prefer the unscented um, Epsom salt soaps from Dr. Till's. So I'll probably purchase the unscented ones uh, from now on. But this one, it was nice, but the, the fragrance is very strong. So, you know, all the times that's not going to clash. That's going to clash with some body care that you want to put on afterwards or whatever type of routine that you're doing at the time. So I prefer the unscented. And then here are some more pocket bags that I used up. This is the peppermint sugar cookie, cracking me up. Absolutely enjoyed this. Here is afternoon apple picking. Absolutely enjoyed this. This is one of my favorite scents. I love the hand soap in this. Here is Waikiki Beach Coconut. It was okay. I'm kind of over Waikiki Beach Coconut. I probably won't purchase repurchase any more Waikiki Beach Coconut. Ah, here is a room spray I finished up in fresh cotton. This one smells so good. I love it. Would definitely repurchase. Here is an, a toothpaste that I went through. This is the uh, activated charcoal toothpaste that I get from Dollar Tree. Always repurchase these. And here's another, I believe, I don't I'm not sure if this was in my project, use it up or not, but this is a um, miniature size body cream and uh, Christmas cookies or Merry Cookie, which is Christmas cookies. Smells amazing. Dr the dry down is wonderful and I would definitely repurchase, already have repurchased. This packaging was very cute as well. And a few more items here. Here's another fine fragrance mist. Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, absolutely enjoyed this. Took me a while to use this up because I've had this Fine Fragrance Mist for a while now, but it is all gone. And Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte is a scent that I'll probably purchase the Fine Fragrance Mist in the miniature size because I recognize that it'll take me a very long time to go through 
a full size fine fragrance mist in marshmallow pumpkin latte. And then here we have a scrub that I used up in Magic in the Air. And it has a very nice smell. Uh, Magic in the Air has that persimmon in it. And then it has like um, some type of uh, vanilla orchid and, and like some type of... Um... Okay, so it has vanilla bourbon and fluffy sandalwood. That's what I was trying to get out. But it has a unique smell. It's comforting. I do enjoy it. And it's good for the winter time. So I do have some more items in Magic in the Air. I, I, I enjoy the scent. It's not one of my favorites, but I do enjoy it. And then I have a hand antibacterial spray and Thousand Wishes. Absolutely love this. This smells amazing. Thousand Wishes is just a classic. I love everything in a Thousand Wishes. Here is uh, Magic in the Air in the miniature size body cream. I finished up the miniature size body cream and Magic in the Air. Like I said, it, it is a nice scent. Not my favorite, but I, I do like it. And what else do we have in here? We have another hand soap. Here is Spiced Apricot Cider. This was nice. I enjoyed the packaging of this particular hand soap as well. And this one smells good. Um, it did linger on the hands slightly a bit after washing your hands with it. I enjoyed it. Um, I would repurchase this scent. And we also have two more items. I used up um, a Bath & Body Works hand cream. This was in the scent Crushed Candy Cane. Love this. This just has that sweet peppermint scent to it. And then this one is a pocket back in white pumpkin. And I love white pumpkin. Very comforting. Will purchase. I love all the items that comes in white pumpkin at Bath and Body Works. The candle, the fine fragrance mist, the body cream, the lotions, just the, yeah, everything. The pocket bag, the soap, just love white pumpkins. Very comforting. It's almost like aromatherapy if you ask me. So that is it. Those are all of my empties. I thank you so much for watching this video. And until you click again, take care.